Good morning, everyone. I got a phone call yesterday from one of our fellow YouTubers. And he had a problem, he has a problem, of wet droppings. And I think we've all experienced if you, with it if you had pigeons for a number of years. I couldn't help him much. I had that problem in the past. Usually what I did was clean the nest box and replace the nesting material, things of that nature. But I did recall reading something about it. So I went back to my, my Bible, the Whitney book, and I looked it up. Diarrhea is what I looked up. And there are many, many causes of it. But one of the causes of it, I'll spell it for you. E-R-Y-S-I-P-E-L-A-S. Erectus virus, I guess it pronounced. And really what it is, it's a bacteria. And pigeons do get it. It's common in pigs, swine. And because of the internet today, I did a little more research on it. And what I found was that it's a bacteria and it gets into the ground, the soil. I guess that's where the pigs get it because they're always running their noses to, to the soil. But pigeons get it too. Turkeys get it. I think sheep get it. People get it also. It can be very bad for people. But in reading on it, antibiotics seem to work, cure it. But one of the things that was interesting about the conversation I had with him was he medicated his birds so we could eliminate a few things. Coccidiosis, for example, could cause it, diarrhea. Um, uh, what a, canker could cause it, but he medicated for all these things. The other thing he did was give his birds apple cider vinegar. Interesting thing about apple cider vinegar is it makes your body alkaline, goes in as acidic, but when it's digested, for some reason, it makes your body alkaline. And the interesting thing about this bacteria, it thrives in alkaline soil. And that's where they pick it up. The birds would pick it up if they're out there. Also, what transmits it is biting bugs. It can be transmitted, you know, by a scratch or a cut. It's a bacteria. It gets into the blood system. But interestingly enough, with their research with the swine, is they found that when they made the soil or the environment acidic, it reduced it. It reduced it dramatically with turkeys, I think down to 38%, way, way down from where it was. So apparently this bacteria doesn't do well in an acid environment. So providing your birds with some kind of acid, could be bleach, anything like along those lines may help. 
You could inject the bird with uh, LA-200, which is a tetracycline, and that would help. But wet droppings, diarrhea, has to have some kind of cause. It could be, it could be foul food, asparagus, could be a lot of things that could cause that problem of diarrhea. But this is one of them. And it's probably the easiest thing to cure if you can get the birds acidic. Now don't overdo it, but research it. I spelt the word out for you. Go online. I'm going to provide a link at the bottom of this video to uh, one of the web pages that I found with a PDF page where you can look it up. You can read it yourself. And maybe you'll get more out of it than I did. I'm not the brightest crayon in the box. But anyway, I hope this helps. And it's kind of important. I'll give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and click the bell for notifications.